Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2015 with the Rude Man. We're back on Nebraska. And we're continuing with our field work. And isn't it a beautiful night? Look at that sky. Red sky at night, sailor's delight, or so they say. I have no idea what that means. Okay, let's see. We got lots of equipment running. This guy looks to be done. So we will end his route and move him over to field 18. I got all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, we're almost done seeding and fertilizing. And we'll be ready for the harvest. Might as well fill this guy up while we're here. Okay, let's go see what else is happening. We've got um, we've got the grasshopper collecting silage, moving it over to the silage pit over there, and we've got what else going on here? This guy. Okay, he looks like he just finished seeding this. What are you doing? What's he doing? <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Yeah, this mod's acting up on me. I can't get my tractors to start. I hit the start button and it says it's waiting for preheat to finish but preheat isn't working so I don't know what the hell's going on mods not working so um what else can I do let me run through and look and see what's going on this guy is uh, done now he's working so it's only some tractors and I think I know why I think it was my fault um, just in case somebody else is using the manual ignition and they haven't found this yet, I'll show you what I did to make it not work. Uh-oh. Let me get this guy out of the way here. This is field 15. He's done. I think that finishes up all the fields. But let me show you what, I, what I've done. Uh... We'll go back to the tractor I was having issues with. Whoa. Okay, this guy here's one of them. All right, so I'm gonna push the button that normally would start it and it's not working. Okay. Now, what I did was I'm, I'm not used to the manual ignition, which is kind of stupid, really, on my part, because I used ma manual ignition almost my whole time in 2013, so it's something I used with every tractor every time I got on the farm, but I'm still not used to doing it for some reason on 2015. But here's what I am used to. I'm used to using course play. So let's say that we have a course play route loaded, and um, and and so this guy's loaded and ready to go. If you hit the drive course and the tractor's not running, it will start it. Just like that. But it bypasses the manual ignition. So, Once I've done that, which I have, uh, I can't get it to work. So that that's what I did, and I'm and I'm thinking the only way I'm going to fix that is to uh, shut the game down, which I don't want to do when I've got this many uh, pieces of equipment running. But I'm pretty close to being done. Most of the equipment, most of the equipment's ready to be brought back to the farm 
Let's see what I do have running. Okay, I got this guy running. And I have this guy that needs to start seeding. I'm not going to start him just in case I shut the game down for a second here. But I'll get him up here and get him ready. This should be the last. Well, wait a minute. No, this won't be the last. I think I need to fertilize field number 12 and this one. And I think I need to fertilize field number um, field number 15. Because those were the last ones I was seeding. So, let's see. We got this guy. That guy nah, 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 nah. Let's run through him here. All right, he's working on field eight. So I'll wait for him to finish. And then this guy's uh, picking up grass, where it was supposed to be. Oh yeah, he still is. But he'll be done lickety-split. He's only got a couple more passes to go. And I think that's it. guy full here. Well, and that pretty much took care of it, didn't it? So let's unload this. Oh, look, silage isn't accepted here. Okay. So I've been busy the last few nights. Uh, I haven't done a lot of videos the last few nights. I do some during the day, but uh, I do most of my work in, in the evening. But I've been busy. There's the new um, Avengers movie coming out. So, look at that. He's rising as the silage comes out of that and, it, and the weight goes out. The whole thing rolls off the ground. Did you see that? That's pretty cool. Anyway, the new Avengers movie is going to come out in a week or so. And I'm not one of these that runs out and wants to see it the very first thing. And the reason being, people. Um, it's going to be full of teenagers and kids. And teenagers and kids will sit there. They'll be sitting there texting and screaming and laughing and yelling. And So I generally wait till after a new movie's been out a week or two before I go see it. And the... Uh, theaters have, you know, not quite so full. But what I decided to do was to go uh, in storyline, chronolo uh, chronological order of the movies leading up to the Avengers. So um, that means there are some Marvel movies that uh, don't fit into that. So there's six movies um, well, including the original Avengers. The first one was uh, Captain America, the the, uh, uh, the first Avenger. And then the second movie was the first Iron Man. The third one is the Hulk, the Incredible Hulk, not the first Hulk. And then the fourth one is the second Iron Man. And then the fifth one was Thor. And then, of course, the sixth one would be the Avengers. That's the, that's the chronological order, storyline-wise, uh, by popular demand, leading up to the Avengers. So we've been watching all of those. And then we'll go see the Avengers in a week or so. I do this quite often when my son's home from college or you know, a holiday or something. We do marathons. I can't tell you how many Harry Potter marathons we've done. Um, Star Wars marathons. The big one is the Lord of the Rings because I have uh, all of the uh, advanced Lord of the Rings movies that have all the minutia in the making of. And it goes, you could watch for a week. And, uh, and so we do those marathons quite often. 
And of course, everybody comes to my house to do it because I have a professional popcorn maker like you'd have in a movie theater. I've got a, a 70 some inch uh, flat screen TV with a Bose surround sound. When, I, when we're watching a movie in my house, the house is shaking. So it's, um, it's pretty fun. All right, let's see, which field is this? This is field 18, we're gonna do uh, Furt. Do we have a Furt? Why is the, why are the field ones in the Furt one? That ain't right. These are all messed up. Let's try this one. All right, where does this, where does it start? Down at the bottom? Now I'm not I'm not gonna start this. I'm gonna get him lined up because I wanna I'm gonna shut this down and fix that mod. Well, well, where is the? Oh, I know where it's at. It's up here. It's up here where we ended, I think. And if it's not, then um, then I don't know where. Yeah, there it is. I can see it from here. Okay, here we go. Drive the course. Oh, I said I wasn't going to start it, didn't I? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did say that. Okay, what's this guy's story? He is just finished field eight, so let's stop him. And that. This guy is. Mm, he's close enough to being done that I don't really. Jimmy Crack Corn, I don't really care. He's not quite done, though, is he? Ah, uh, we'll finish him later. Okay. Bear with me. I'll be right back. Okay, and as promised, I am back. It was only a moment for you, but a heart, uh, lifetime for me. Let's go and see if we can get these things going again. Is he going to remember where he was? We'll find out. Oh, I just did the same damn thing. Let me see if I can stop it. There we go. All right. So, not a total loss. Duh. It's just force of habit. I mean, you know, I, I just use uh, course play too damn much. All right. This guy, now I can start. Let's... Just get, get in the habit, get in the habit. Um, what's going on? Why is he doing that? Oh, this is field 18, not vert 18. How did that happen? Do we even have a Furt 18? Come on. Furt 3. Furt Field 18, right there. Isn't that a coincidence? Exactly, well, not exactly. It's roughly in the same location. Uh, that's stop which means the start is somewhere else up here where I initially thought it was in the first place. Yeah, the... Um, we're, we're a gaming family. Well, except for my wife. Uh, my wife doesn't even know how to turn a computer on and doesn't care to learn. Um, but everything in my house is wired. We used to have LAN parties and we had Taco Tuesdays, where my son would bring all his buddies over, and we would play some kind of game or another. Uh, they would set up rock band, 
in my living room. I have a huge sunken living room with, um, you know, the big uh, skylights and and tall ceilings and and that that TV that I told you about. We needed one at least that big, if not bigger, because if you're sitting on the other side of the living room, you almost need binoculars to see a TV. Um, but we would set up uh, the the guitar, two guitars, a drum set, microphone, and they would play rock band. Oh, come on. So yeah, we had a lot of fun. But we used to do um, LAN parties. Everybody would bring their computers. I'd have two or three set up, networked, and uh, now this is getting a little crazy. There we go. What the hell was his problem? Yeah, we'd have Taco Tuesdays, Pizza Thursdays, and everybody'd come to my house and we'd game. We'd do uh, whatever game was going on at the time. And, uh, we did a lot of World of Warcraft. I can't, I can't tell you how many times uh, I fell asleep at the keyboard and would wake up with, uh, you know, WASD stuck to my forehead. But uh, yeah, it happened. It happened quite often. They do Halo. It's whatever. I mean, I have almost every game console they make, they've ever made. So, you know, if we weren't doing computers, we were doing Xbox or Sony PlayStation or Nintendo, Wii, whatever. Sometimes we even just watch movies. Now that my son's in college, I kind of miss all that. But we still play online sometimes. His friends will get on him. I keep a Ventrilo account, a personal Ventrilo account my, myself, um, so that we can keep in touch. And it's running pretty much all the time. So if one of his friends gets on and sees me on, they'll jump on, say hello. And if we happen to be playing, we can play together and talk together while we're playing. Okay, what else were we doing? We need to... Well, let's just get this guy off the farm. I I feel kind of bad. I got uh, I've got a uh, subscriber that's wanting to know how I took the fences off of uh, this map and I told him that I downloaded Giant Editor and played with it till I figured out how it worked and he kind of wants me to do a tutorial on it and I have mixed feelings about that the a couple of different feelings one of them Farm three to farm one, does that sound? This is farm two though. Let's try that. Uh, first of all, I started using Giant Editor because I was frustrated with this map. I liked this map when I downloaded it, but I, but it was not fun to play because nothing worked. So in frustration, I downloaded the giant editor and I fixed what I wanted to fix. Or let's just say I fixed what I could fix. There's still some stuff that are messed up that I'd like to fix. And there are some things that I couldn't figure out how to fix. The poo was one of them. 
I could never make the coup work. I tried and tried and tried. And in one respect, that's not a big deal because I don't generally do anything with the poo. Generally, if I did anything with the poo, it was just to take it and sell it. But it's frustrating that it doesn't work. And um, so out of frustration, um, I learned how to use Giant Editor and took care of the issues that um, were important to me to make this farm um, at least you know, run halfway decent. And one thing led to another that led to another that led to another and finally I got everything that I, that I wanted to do done and I swore I'd never do it again on this map anyway. Um, I had several subscribers trying to get me to use Giant Editor and I finally did. You know, they kind of they kind of actually pushed me into it. Um, and it wasn't because I don't get into those kind of things. I went to college to be a, um, a data processor. Uh, that's what that's what I was went to college for. Um, was data processing. I've been to computers my whole life. I've built every computer I ever owned till the last two. And. Um, quite a few computers for other people so it's not it doesn't have anything to do with me being afraid of using a software program um, you know I, I did that for a living for a while and you know I used to uh, uh, install netware systems network systems for netware so it isn't that um, mostly it was because I'm too damn busy you know, I'm trying to get videos out, and, and you know, I, I just didn't really have the time to mess with the game. I wanted to uh, have a game that worked for me so that I could make videos. Uh, I didn't intend to, you know, have to make my own game so that I could play. That's part of it. The other part is, I only messed around with uh, Giant Editor long enough to... Uh, fix those things I wanted to fix. Let me stop this guy and get him out of here. Um, so what 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 I what I had what I did was okay let's just give you a for for example um, one of the things I had to fix was the uh, the dairy cattle okay the that uh, milking station way over there that blue milking station way over there was inside this barn that you can't get into so I had to get giant editor and learn how to grab that and and everything that went with it the trigger and everything and move it to where I wanted it now that was very simple. That wasn't a big deal. But there are some things that were kind of a little more complicated. Finding a trigger for something that was missing. The trigger for the sale of hay here was inside this barn, which you can get inside of. It was right over here, right here. And I had to move that trigger out over there. And again, that wasn't too hard. But there were some triggers that were completely missing that weren't even on the map that I had to go out and get from another game and learn how to bring it into this game, install it, get it in the right position, um, all of that kind of stuff. It was not uh, an easy process. And what I did was I just worked at it. I, I said, okay, this is a, what I want to do. I want to make... Oh, let me give you an example, another example. The sale of eggs. I couldn't find an egg trigger to sell eggs. So I went out and got one from uh, one of the original maps, the Bjornhole map. I got the egg trigger. And so here's the, here's the issue. I wanted to sell my eggs. I needed to find a way to do it. I played with Giant Editor long enough 
to be able to figure out how I could make it work. And then I did. I made it work. Did I do it the correct way? I have no idea. I'm no giant editor expert. All I did was mess around with the map long enough till I got it to do what I wanted it to do. If I did it correctly, I don't know. I did it and it worked, but I have no idea if I did it correctly. Now, if I try to do a tutorial to tell other people how to use Giant Editor when I don't really know how to use it properly, um, you know, I'm gonna look pretty stupid. I'm gonna have a hell of a lot of people that are experts at using uh, Giant Editor as a software saying, this guy doesn't know his ass from a hole in the ground and he's trying to do tutorials to teach other people how to do it. That's what I'm afraid of. So that's why I have reservations about uh, trying to do a tutorial on something I really don't know that much about. Now, I don't, I don't know how you guys feel about that, but um, yeah, I I don't know. I, I don't, if somebody comes on, you know, my game and tells me that I'm full of crap and I don't know what I'm doing and they hate my videos, you know, well, so be it, you know, not everybody's going to like what somebody does. Um... There's a lot of people doing videos out there, and a lot of them I don't care for. So, you know, those kind of things don't bother me. I know that that's going to happen. Um, if it if it happens enough, if I, if I get enough people telling me they don't like what I'm doing, then I'll just stop doing it. And, you know, I'm only doing this to have fun. And if it becomes something I'm not having fun with, then I'm not going to do it anymore. Um, yeah, but that hasn't happened. I get very few people... You know, uh, uh, I don't know what the terminology is. Griefing me is that is that a ter right terminology? I know that you can grief somebody in a game, but uh, I don't know if that's exactly the the right terminology. But anyway, um, I have good subscribers. I have very good subscribers. They're very good to me, and I appreciate that. And that's why I enjoy making videos for them. I think part of it is the kind of games that I do play. These simulation games, role-playing games, uh, people are pretty pretty good about, you know, treating you right on those kind of games. All right, what do we got here? You get people that are a little more uh, mature, I guess you would say. Um, some, some of the games and videos that I don't care to watch are the ones where somebody has to say the F word every five minutes. Uh, I don't see any point in that. It, it doesn't seem necessary. Uh, and, and are they doing it just to get people to, to be shocked and, and uh, you know, um, shock and awe, I guess you'd call it? And do they get subscribers that way? I'm sure they do. Uh, but that isn't me. I couldn't do that. The other ones are the people that come on and they sound like the used car salesman of the week because they're so excited and up and and talking 50 miles a minute like they've uh, they've, they've talking of uh, taking a bottle of speed and and a case of uh, Mountain Dew. I can't do that either. That's not that's not me. Um, to be honest with you, I wish I was more like that, but I'm not. I don't have that kind of personality. I used to be in radio sales for a while. That's where the rude man came from. Uh, the guys in the disc jockey booths would call me the rude man because my name is Rudy. So that that's where the rude man comes from, is the radio station. and. I sold radio advertising. I am a terrible salesman. It's just not my personality. I'm not that outgoing. Um, 
I am not a people person. And as a matter of fact, I don't know what a people person is. Um, but I am not one if there is such a thing. So for me to sell somebody something was really, really hard. I would go uh, to an appointment to sell somebody some radio advertising and I'd drive, drive around the block about half a dozen times. I'd sit in my car and physically pump myself up to try to get the adrenaline going so that I could bring myself to go in and do a sales pitch to somebody. And it would literally take me a half hour to an hour to get pumped up enough to go in and try to sell something. It was not fun, and it was very difficult and very frustrating and very stressful. And, and I did that for a while. Um, and I made sales and things like that, but I wasn't ever very good at it. But I was able to make a living at it. Um, but that's not me. And sometimes some of these videos that you're watching that's what it reminds me of, is somebody that's just completely off the wall and, you know, trying to get, trying to be entertaining. And it works for some people. I know people that act like that, and they've got, you know, 100, 200,000 subscribers. So it must work. But I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. All right, where are we at here? Let's see, you got some stuff to wash. I gotta make sure. Let's get this guy back to the farm. Yeah, I got way off track on that one. But I think about that sometimes. Um, when I'm doing videos, I I sometimes wonder uh, why anybody would ever want to, you know, what you know, watch any of my videos. I don't know. Um because of the people that are really popular and have you know hundreds of thousands of people watching them I'm nothing like that and my videos are nothing like that and so sometimes I wonder if I should even be doing this but then I get somebody giving me a comment that's saying they like what I do and it makes me want to do another one and I'm having fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, you know, I don't... It, it keeps me busy. And that's a good thing. I need something to keep me busy. Actually, according to my wife, I need something that gets me off this chair and out doing some exercise. But I do have my treadmill in my office here, and I'll get on it. I need to get back on it, because I've, I've kind of been a little bit lax lately. What am I, which one is this? Was it, hey Scorpion, was it you that told me that this is your favorite DLC pack, the JCB? I've been kind of dissing it, and I don't really mean to. I like these tractors. I really do. Um, I, I just like a, a different sound, a different engine sound. And, and you know what? This is probably realistic. This is probably what the new tractors sound like. I'm just used to having real old uh, pieces of equipment there that sound like washing machines. Where am I going? Anyway, uh, yeah, I do like the, the, the tractors. I like the design. I like the way they drive. They just seem a little wussy in the sound area, but that's probably what they sound like. But I used to feel the same way about motorcycles, you know. You get these... Um, the Honda road bikes, you know, the gold wings and things like that. They don't sound like a Harley. Um, what I, I I used to drive Hondas. I used to, um, you know, my I, I was never a very large person. I'm only five eight, and in my younger years, I was only about at the most 
between 165 and 180 pounds. That's not me anymore. But um, is this thing even getting clean at all? But I used to ride Hondas. The biggest Honda I ever had was a, a 750. Uh, but that was more than big enough for me. Because like I said, I wasn't a very big person. Oh, I just, I just backed into that other tractor. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> I gotta find out if this guy's getting clean or not. I can't tell. I'm looking at that filter there, and I don't see mud coming off of it. How about the white part? Anybody see anything? Let me go around this way. All right, it's starting to get white again. And maybe it just takes a while. A long while. A good long while. All right, I think that's probably as clean as it's gonna get. What about that thing? Yeah, so tomorrow night, let's see, what's tonight? Tonight is Monday night. Oh God, I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. <coughs> I have jury duty tomorrow. It's been a long while since I've got selected for jury duty. I, I used to get out of it. I used to not have a problem. All I had to do was I'd get I'd get called for jury duty and all I had to do was send it back in and tell them what I did for a living and they would excuse me and uh, I kind of miss that um, I don't have that excuse anymore so when the uh, policeman showed up on my front doorstep and handed me the piece of paper telling me that I had been selected for jury duty I kind of said, "Oh no, I don't have my comp I don't have my excuse anymore. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to go." So yeah, I won't be doing any videos tomorrow morning. I'm hoping it's a one-time thing. That it's not one that gets held over for weeks and weeks and weeks. It's um, it's just a city uh, court, so it shouldn't be too bad. But, you know, hey, you got to do your civic duty. Whoops. Well, I think by the next episode, we should be into the harvest. Should have all the fertilizing done. It's finishing as we speak. Do you guys remember that game that I used to play for a while? I had several episodes of it. The uh, car mechanic game. Uh, it was car, uh, car Mechanic 2014. Well, I was shocked and surprised that uh, today I was contacted by the uh, company that makes that game and wanted to know if, uh, if uh, they could give me a copy of it so that I would, uh, could make videos of it. They have a new version out, I guess. 
So I went on Steam to look at it, and uh, yep, sure enough, it's out on Steam. Car Mechanic 2015. So it looks like I may be. Uh, I had fun with that game. It was it was fun to play. God, I got a lot of filthy equipment. I don't know if I can wash it all. I'm only one man. Anyway, hey, you know, if you uh, if you don't remember the game, um, go to my YouTube page and you'll see a playlist of it. You should take a look at it, but because I think I'm going to go ahead and play it again. I, I forgot I had it actually. To be honest with you, I've got uh, I've got. Oh, well, you know how much I want to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I kind of I kind of miss it now that I now that it's back in my memory. I just have too many games I'm playing as a problem because I've got two farms that I'm playing. Uh, well, that I'm making videos of. Well, actually, there's four farms that I'm making videos on. I just published two. Uh, and then I have a, a fifth farm that I play for fun. And that doesn't count my test uh, worlds. My test farms. Is this thing getting clean? I guess so. Um, and then, of course, you know, I got the other, all the other videos I do. I'm a busy guy. I, I got to get... Uh, I got to get videos in the can because uh, when the weather straightens out, I got places to go and people to see. I got to get the fifth wheel out. And I got several trips planned this year. Um, at one point, I need to. Um, I've got I've got a gas generator that I bought, sitting in the garage, and it's wrapped in plastic. And I've had it for about five years and never even opened it. But I got it because I have a self-contained fifth wheel, and I thought there might come a time where I'd set it out someplace in the wilderness for a month and need the uh, generator to power the thing. And I still might do that. Only problem is, I lost my laptop. What's still out there? That guy's done. Uh-oh. Oh. You know, when you do a transport course, you gotta remember to tell it to stop at the last trigger, or it goes crazy and doesn't know what to do. But anyway, uh, what was I saying? Talking about camping, I think. I don't know. Yeah, my wife wants to get away. We got uh, we got reservations at a campground uh, on the southern coast here, but that's only for a couple of weeks. I do have um, I have a week scheduled in my condo this summer, and that is going to be. When is that? I think that's over the 4th of July t time period. My problem is that the hard drive in my laptop went belly up. And it was an older laptop, so I didn't feel the... I didn't feel uh, necessary to uh, put another hard drive in it. Uh-oh. We got big trouble in Little China. Because I'm moving my controls and nothing's happening. Bummer trails. Well, you know what? It's 25 seconds to, to swoosh. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here since the game is frozen anyway. And I hope you had fun. Give me a like if you liked it. Share it if you have a friend. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you on the farm in the next episode.